So in the West Atrium, we have got the largest indoor screens for any stadium in Europe here. You can see how it starts one side of the atrium all the way to the other side. It makes an amazing welcome for guests as they come off of the high street and here into the West Atrium. And yes, if you can believe it, we actually do have some trophies. It's not a mirage, it's the truth, it's right here. Now this isn't all of our trophies, this is just some of our favorite trophies. My personal favorite one is this one, okay? This is the 1901 FA Cup. We won this 1901. In 1908, we became a professional team. So in 1901, we were still an amateur club, which is an amazing achievement and something that we're incredibly proud of. You'll see as well, each trophy has a little tag in the corner. You can use your multimedia device to scan the tag and you get a presentation all about the trophies. So it's very interactive. One the area in the stadium, we walk in down to the um, executive box at the stadium itself. And then you can see the, um, the hospitality area. That's where it is. And, uh, yeah, so we're walking towards the stadium ball, which is um, the entrance. Yeah. So as you can see, this is um, this is the area. This is executive area. This is the box and uh, and uh, the stadium itself is here. We go. This is the pitch side. And the stands over there. You can see the view. Come on, you sports. Yeah. There you go. Look at the stands. Beautiful stadium. Newly built. Amazing stands. All over the play all over you can see the stands up there. Bright, good designs. Amazing view. Yeah. So the bottom top is there sitting there. Mr. Charm is up there. And a couple of um a couple of couple, couple of tour guys and tour people you can see them. Yeah, there we are. So, yeah. Now you can see the bottom, the music's. You know, the music area and there's music in the studio. Two sort of areas: We've got the fine dining on this side and the brasserie on that side. Um, guests pay. A subscription to use this facility then they pay money for their season ticket on top of that but come out this way so obviously very opulent Michelin style food um, and they get some of the best seats in the house as well so go outside sit down enjoy yourselves here hi there <laughs> so, uh, here you get, um, yeah, here again, we're here again. This is the VIP section, as you can see. This is probably the most expensive. Um, not yeah, one of the most expensive boxes in the in the stadium. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, we're heading to the premium seats now. Yeah, the tour continues. And um Yeah. Oh, Man United support the night. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, there's two rooms at the end if you want to just go and have a That's the premium seats. So this is where normally um, the VIP section, um, this is where they have their, their lunches and dinners before the game starts. So, all, all these rooms have been decorated how the person wants them. So this company here, Allied, they decided they wanted a bar. Next door, they decided they wanted a sort of table so they can design them how they want. Um, there's other ones where they're like twice the size 
They're mainly companies that invite their guests here. And then they have some of these seats that are out here. So it just shows you on a different level. So. Yeah, once again we're here, we're here in the media room, as you can see the sponsors, the interviews and uh, all whatnot, and the managers and all the media personnel. Yeah. Uh, That's the court room. And, uh, and this is the away dressing room. We are. So this is just the physio. And then they got the dreadful room, as you can see different teams that have been here. See, they are the whole Premier League teams, basically. You can see them. And some of the European games played. I suppose this is the recovery room, I think. Um, yeah. We are in the recovery room, as you can see, this is the whole team. Sports recovery room. This is where the players get their warm up session before they go out. It's all of those things are just trying to create an environment as you manage it. Little team there, and the warm up with the team. Down to us, we decide where players sit. So in the dressing room, normally you have a mic. There we go. Dressing room. Very nice. And what we see in this room is still going to be looking at the On the ground, in the dressing room. And I think that's something that we're going to do in this class. We're going to have a very good time. 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 So we're all getting the huddle and the club captain i.e. Hugo or Harry, whoever's captain on the day, they will do a little switch to the team and the start in the second half. And now it's because of the time that we used to go out there um, and everything was just focused on the game. So any, any kind of laughing or anything. Oh, it's not a problem. 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 Normally it's quite calm. Of the day, who's playing, or the the opponents that are playing, and often they'll have videos and analysis of the opponents. There we are. This is the players' dining room. They're coming in. This is where players have their lunch, meals, whatever you call it. There we are. This is it. You can see. And uh, this is the manager's office. Oh, you in the phone, eh? And uh, <laughs> turn around there. Welcome, you walk straight down.
we've got Antonio Conte's seat here. Obviously, he have his coaching staff along here as well, and he's also got the substitutes here as well. These seats are reclinable and heated as well, so the players and coaching staff are well looked after. There we go. So, guys, just over here, we have got our football pitch, as you can see. So, this pitch weighs around 9,000 tonnes, okay? That's actually more than the Eiffel Tower weighs. So, how it works, we split it into three different sections. So, as you're looking at it now, it splits horizontally each weighing 3,000 tonnes and what we do is take 25 minutes to retract and we've got little pitch pockets underneath the south stand here slides one by one as I said 25 minutes to do that and it reveals the NFL pitch directly underneath it which is always monitored okay so it's through robot lawn mowers sprinklers and LED lights as well so whenever we need it for NFL or any other event it'll be ready for us to use okay so can you remove that the whole so all this will remove so all this part here so let me show you down here so all this so obviously this is the ramp mm. so the level you're standing at now is kind of what the actual level of the NFL pitch will be so the NFL pitch is lower because of the sight lines mm. so at Wembley for example they have to take the first 10-15 rows out okay but here they don't have to okay and um, we can fill every seat in the house so that's why we have designed it lower here at Tottenham Hotspur so even when the uh, coaches are on the touchline here, because they're virtually on the pitch, mm. we can still feel the seats closest to the stadium in the front rows and things like that. So is, this, is, is this grass, is it? Uh, this is a uh, 4G turf, so that's what it'd be like for the American football. Um, so the football pitch is 100% real grass, and then it's got an artificial element below it as well. So, so when, when, the, uh, when the NFL is on, this is what they put on the pitch, eh? Yeah, so the NFL pitch at the moment, as we're looking at the football pitch, it'll always be underneath the football pitch. Um, so yeah, all we got to do, as I said before, is we'll track it underneath the south stand and it'll be all ready to go when we have our October games here, obviously on the 2nd and the 9th, it was announced yesterday, so we've got that as well. So it's, we're a multi-purpose stadium, we've got concerts, NFL, obviously top Hotspur football, we've had boxing here as well, we've got rugby here as well, so it's... Not a stadium just to be used from August to May, it's yeah. going to be used all year round. All year round and yeah. We're using it for tours now, we've got Skywalk just up there, or Cockpool yeah. as well, so it's going to be used all the time. Stadium, can I see? Week in, week out, yeah? Yep, so from the last game of the season, everything sold out. So obviously we got the game here against Arsenal, and then we've got Burnley as well, completely sold out. Oh. Yep, and then we've got Liverpool the weekend. Uh, which is going to be a big game. Yeah. So the home entrance and the visitors entrance. If I stand over here in the visitors, I look quite small in comparison. However, if I stand over this way in the home area, I look bigger and it's more intimidating because it's tighter. So when the Spurs players come out, it's already a psychological edge when coming out. So just a bit later. Afterwards, it's another photo opportunity. So we can impose Antonio Conte next year in the photo. We wait for these guys, then my colleague can explain. Here, which is this way, yeah? No, up here, yeah, because he lives in he lives in Barnet. So sometimes. This way. I think uh, this is probably the best we've been. Yeah, the best mm. best we've been. Look at that. Look at the setting here. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Top man. Yeah, again. Here we go. Okay, first one here. Yeah, you can see the sponsors. Yeah. Amazing seconds. Just about the players and the manager. Sit down. Okay. 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 Okay.